Transfer of static and dynamic images has been an issue for engineers from the moment radio transmission of information became known. The phototelegraph that had already existed for several dozen of years was inconvenient due to its extreme complexity and very low image transfer speed. At the same time, experiments in the field of mechanical scanning opened up the perspective for creating a new device for fast image transfer using the radio. One of the first successful experiments in the field was a radio photography apparatus by William Holden, an engineer from Brooklyn. The transmitting part of the camera consisted of a photo cell situated inside a semi-clear modulated drum, a monitor unit for controlling the drum, an image amplifier, a reference signal generator, a path system generate amplifier, and a signal mixer. After light travels through the photograph, it hits the photo cell. The photo cell generates voltage depending on the amount of light that passed through the elementary regions of the image. The rotation of the drum is used to sequentially scan areas of the image. The image signal is amplified by the image amplifier. The synchronization signal is amplified by the reference signal generator amplifier. After that, the mixer modulates the radio signal coming from the transformer to the antenna. Similarly, inside the receiver, the signal is separated into the image signal and the synchronization signal. Both are amplified and sent to the receiver drum. The latter separates the image with the help of a neon lamp. Now it can be viewed through the eyepiece or saved with the help of a regular camera attached to it. Holden's apparatus didn't become popular. However, it was an important step in the development of television. It had all the main components of a classical TV set that appeared several years after.